All right, let's see what's out there. All right, so as soon as I dove in, right away heading towards the oyster bar, the mullet began circling. There's a, a little sheephead mullet are just surrounding this oyster bar. There's a little snook. Um, the whole oyster bar, everywhere you went around it, they were just circling it. I think they like to just stay close, feel a little protection from all the oysters, keep them from being dolphin food. Here's some pinfish and snook. Um, stay through to the end. I know most of you like to turn it off after about two minutes, but all the uh, snook are at the end of the video. So here I'm over top of the oyster bar and you can see lots of pinfish on the bottom. They're swimming over the oysters and then the mullet, of course, are still here. First was finding the snook, they were really skittish, but I was able to get on the um, downside of the current of the oyster bar and just hold on to some grass to keep from drifting and just sit still. And quite a few um, snook then were able to, I, I was able to just get very close to them. And Head. Uh, here you see all the pinfish just darting across the grass flat, hiding in the grass, going over, feeding probably over the oysters, just trying to stay alive, stay out of these snooks way that you'll see on the other side of the bar. what this oyster bar is made out of. All the dead oyster shells and snails. Hopefully there's some live oysters in there. Mostly look dead, but I'm sure there's some healthy ones somewhere. Big patches of red algae. That's what it looks like up top. You gotta be careful or stupid to be out here doing this because you could get run over. I'm using the sandbar for protection, but plenty of people have ran right over those. Coming up here, these ghostly looking shadows up to the top right, those are uh, actually needle nose right here. You can see them up there on the right side. Kind of hard to see, but it's pretty cool. So here is where I was finally able to get some good shots of the snook. I'm actually holding on to the grass to keep from drifting away. The oyster bar is behind me. And so this is where predominantly they were all stacked up. And I was surprised how many were there. Um, there you can see how clear the water is from uh, above the water. It's kind of murky once you got into it, but um, very, very good visibility for the most part. And so the fish are just swimming around kind of in circles here just hanging tight to the, the back side of that oyster bar and I, I'm assuming they're just waiting for one of these little pinfish that you see swimming over the grass or a little sand brim to just get a little too close um, and then they're gonna feed on them or, or they might just be sitting there enjoying the temperature of the water I don't know using the oyster bar for protection in case a dolphin showed up. Now 
I've been watching him for about 20 minutes and I figure I'd see how close I could get to him. So I started chasing him and they just easily swam away. So that's it. Just uh, trying to make the videos a little more interesting. Uh, hopefully you liked it. Let me know if you have any questions. While I'm down here, check the bottom. No barnacles. Looks good. So that's it. Appreciate you guys watching. That sandpiper, he's got a fish or a crab. He's working the top of that sandbar or oyster bar.